Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Beauty on a Budget. My name is Heather and today I'm actually going to get outside and I'm going to do my little front entrance. So I'm just going to turn the camera around and let you see what I'm going to be working on. So this is my outside uh, front entrance. So I am going to be just bringing all this stuff in and just making it redo it all for Christmas. Starting with the lantern, that little wicker basket with the handle, and this little um, flower pot here. So I'll be bringing those in. Same with my gnomes. I'm going to be bringing my gnomes in, and I really want to make um, a little Santa gnome. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to it yet, but I'm just going to bring these floral arrangements in and redo them for Christmas. Alright, so I've got my front step all done, everything I was decorating, but first I just want to do a quick walkthrough of my house so you can see how well I've got it decorated for Christmas. When you walk into the house, I've moved my furniture around because we had our uh, realtor come today. Can't wait. Not sure if we're going to put our house up for sale quite yet. We're still waiting probably till the spring. Don't want to do a winter move, but this is how I've got it set up today. So all my little Christmas displays. The tree just has the lights on it. I haven't even hung the ornaments I made up yet. I will get to that. And then this is the other stuff that I was making. I'll just come through to the kitchen because I've got more Christmas displays, stuff that I had made over here. So it's like almost every room in my house is ready for uh, Christmas. Even my little bathroom down here, I've got the little bath mat set. And then even my craft room is actually clean today. It's been a while since it's been this clean. And then I'm just gonna because Realtor was in, so we did some extra cleaning and everything is well organized. So I'm just going to come down here to the little basement area so you can see just even my, you know, my day home, it's down here. It's like, it's reasonably clean all the time. Said like down here, even Christmassy in this bathroom. And then this is the spare room, which right now I don't have the crib or playpen set up. I don't need them at the moment. But this is all my craft supplies, just so you can see how much craft supplies I have. This is the stuff that is not packed. So anytime I said I have to run and go find something, this is what I'm going through. I'm just going to go upstairs. I'll turn off my lights a little bit. I'm just going to go up the stairs all the way up the stairs. There's my kitties. That's their beds and their toys. I have a lot of stairs. Sometimes you don't realize how many there are until you go up and down. Um, from upstairs way down to the basement and then back all the way back upstairs. See? I'm going to say my house, every room is 80 to 90 percent uh, packed. I don't think I've ever shown uh, this bathroom, but this is the kids bathroom. And I have to say since my only one kid using it, uh, it is actually clean. And that is the Angry Bird shower curtain I got at Valley Village. For, I forget if it was $2.99 or $3.99, something like that, but under five bucks for an Angry Bird shower curtain. And my daughter's room, I'm not gonna go into, but these two rooms, you know, other than the cats using this chair, nobody uses this room. And then this is my exercise room, which I actually am using it almost every day for when my physio exercises. So now I'm gonna go back downstairs and I'll show you my, I'm kind of turning off the lights this time. I come back down the stairs and I'm gonna show you my front 
entrance. So this the this side. I have to do something on this side of the door. I'm not sure what yet. Um, but my husband was worried that if I put the wreath on that it's gonna scratch the paint. So I put this ribbon on so I could attach the wreath hook. Or I thought I could, but it didn't quite work. But I did get a wreath hook and I've covered it on both sides. Or I guess not the both sides. No, this one I only covered the one side. That's why the ribbon was still here too. Uh, the other one I had temporarily used, I actually put this fuzzy material on both sides. So it won't scratch the door. Open this, you can see. So you can see the wreath hook there. So this is the big wreath I made. I've never actually measured it, but you can tell that the, the mesh or tool on either side is actually wider than the whole door. And so to make the cross part with the, so it looks like the door is wrapped like a gift wrap, I use the same material as I did for the ribbon. Or the bow. And then there's the lantern I made. I'm going to turn the little light on. It looks like that when it's lit. It's got the little church in the candle. I think it looks so good. I really like to try to do this and have a solar light in there, but I don't know if the solar light actually works on the step. Um, I had some other ones that were solar, and if they're up here by the door, they didn't work. But if I have them on the step, they work. And then there is that little vase that I repainted. I'm just going to do some touch-up. I just haven't had time to, you know, black paint is packed. So either I go and buy a little jar of black paint to touch it up, or I just wait until we've moved. I think I might just end up waiting till we move. But there is... I'm gonna fall off my step. That is that how decorated my front porch is for Christmas. And like I said, this stuff here, and if I can get my puppy to come, Eleanor, come. She's wearing her elf costume, which she's kind of got it pulled off. But no, I'm she was wearing it earlier. She's been wearing it for a little while. She doesn't really like it. She keeps scratching and pulling at the Velcro. So I'm gonna fix it and get her to walk. Okay, see, I've got it kind of fixed, but she doesn't want to walk with it. She just, she wants it off. But there, as you can see, it's a little, yeah. Okay, there. Come on. There we go. So there's the little, my puppy dressed like an elf, my little helper. And there's all my Christmas displays. I'm just going to do a little closer up to each one. There's the nativity scene that I had spray painted. Uh, this pillow I had made a couple years, it was last year or the year before, I can't remember now. But it was just an advent calendar and I turned into a uh, advent pillow and there's that big floral display I've done over a couple times I really like it in the blue and then all this up here oops these aren't on these are these projection ones I found Let's see if I can get it Let's see if I can get it probably just not dark enough for these to work, but I had them angled so that they would be up here on the wall. I think it's just too bright. Turn off the lights, there we go. I just have to pull them back a little bit at a funny angle. But you know, for a buck 50 from the dollar store, you know, there. Oh, it's because it's creating that shadow with those other there, so there's that one. It's the uh, Santa driving a red truck. And then this one is just the snowman. There. I 
And we'll get these re-angled so then they can sit there and be on the wall. A little bit easier to see. It's hard to see because it just wants to create shadows with the other stuff that's there. And I know, and then my garland all fell a couple days ago. Uh, my daughter said she will help me rehang it. And the next, you know, by this weekend, we'll have the garland all hung up strung properly. As it is like a two hand job. So there we go. So that is my house all decorated for Christmas. So I just want to say thank you so much to everybody subscribing to my channels and watching my videos and I'll see you in the next ones. Bye.